the story of Blixie Bimber and the power of the gold buckskin whincher. Blixie Bimber grew up looking for luck. If she found a horseshoe, she took it home and put it on the wall of her room with a ribbon tied to it. She would look at the moon through her fingers, under her arms, over her right shoulder, but never, never over her left shoulder. Bad luck. She listened and picked up everything anybody said about the groundhog and whether the groundhog saw his shadow when he came out the 2nd of February. If she dreamed of onions, she knew the next day she would find a silver spoon. If she dreamed of fishes, she knew that the next day she would meet a strange man who would call her by her first name. She grew up looking for luck. She was 16 years old and quite a girl with her skirts down to her shoe tops when something happened. She was going to the post office to see if there was a letter for her from Peter Potato Blossom Wishes, her best chum, or a letter from Jimmy the Flea, her best friend she kept steady company with. Jimmy the Flea was a climber. He climbed skyscrapers and flagpoles and smokestacks and was a famous steeplejack. Blixie Bimber liked him because he was a steeplejack, a little, but more because he was a whistler. He could whistle. Every time Blixie said to Jimmy, I got the blues, whistle the blues out of me, Jimmy would just naturally whistle till the blues just naturally went away from Blixie. On the way to the post office, Blixie found a gold buckskin Quincher. There it lay in the middle of the sidewalk. How and why it came to be there, she never knew. Nobody ever told her. It's luck, she said to herself as she picked it up quick. And so she took it home and fixed it on a little chain and wore it around her neck. She didn't know and nobody ever told her. A gold buckskin quincher is different from just a plain common quencher. It has a power, and if a thing has a power over you, then you just naturally can't help yourself. So, around her neck, fixed on a little chain, Blixie Bimber wore the gold buckskin quencher, and never knew it had a power, and all the time the power was working. The silent power in the gold buckskin quencher was saying, the first man you meet with an X in his name, you must fall head over heels in love with him. And that was why Blixie Bimber stopped at the post office and went back again asking the clerk at the post office window if he was sure there wasn't a letter for her. The name of the clerk was Silas Baxby. For six weeks, he kept steady company with Blixie Bimber. They went to dances, hayrack rides, picnics, and hijinks together. All the time, the power in the gold buckskin whincher was working. It was hanging by a little chain around her neck and always working. It was saying, the next man you meet with two X's in his name, two X's, you must leave all and fall head over heels in love with him. She met the high school principal. His name was Fritz Axenbax, A-X-E-N-B-A-X. -E Blixie dropped her eyes before him and threw smiles at him. And for six weeks, he kept steady company with Blixie Bimber. They went to dances, hay rack rides, picnics, and hijinks together. And her relatives asked, why do you go with him for steady company? And Blixie said, it's a power he's got. I just can't help it. It's a power. And they said, one of his feet is bigger than the other. How can you keep steady company with him? All she could answer was, it's a power. All the time, of course, the gold buckskin whincher on the little chain around her neck was working. It was saying, if she meets a man with three X's in his name, she must fall head over heels in love with him. And then 
at a band concert in the public square one night, she met James Sixbixdix, S-I-X-B-I-X-D-I-X. -I 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 no helping it. She dropped her eyes and threw her smiles at him. And for six weeks, they kept steady company, going to band concerts, dances, hay rack rides, picnics, and hijinks together. A relative saying, why do you keep steady company with him? He's a musical soup eater. And she said, it's a power I can't help myself. Leaning down with her head in a rainwater cistern one day, listening to the echoes against the strange wooden walls of the cistern, a gold buckskin whincher on the little chain around her neck slipped off and fell down into the rainwater. Blixie saying, my luck is gone. And she went into the house and made two telephone calls. One was to James Six Bix Dix, telling him she couldn't keep the date with him that night. The other was to Jimmy the Flea, the climber, the steeplejack. She telephoned Jimmy the Flea, come on over, come on over. I got the blues and I want you to whistle them away. And so, if you ever come across a gold buckskin quencher, be careful. It's got a power. It'll make you fall head over heels in love with the next man you meet with an X in his name. Or it'll do other strange things because different quenchers have different powers.